All I want for Christmas, guys, is you. Oh my god, that was so off tone. What's up, guys? F minus here. If you guys are watching the video, like the video right now, comment down below. If you get this video to 1,000 likes, I will release my code unit. If you don't get a video to 1,000 likes, I guess I'm not going to release it to you guys and I'll just keep it for myself. But basically, for this video, we are going to be covering the All Star Tower Defense Christmas update and also our code units. So make sure you like the video, comment down below. Basically, All Star kind of released the Christmas update. You guys can see the Christmas map here in World 1. If you guys remember December 2020 and also December 2021, it's been like two Christmases for All Star Tower Defense. This is going to be the third year, and people keep giving me gifts. Thank you guys so, so much. But yeah, Fruit Jaeger, he put out the patch log in the official All-Star Tower Defense Discord server. Basically, what the patch log talks about is the Christmas events. Now, if you're watching the video, it might not be added to the game yet. And when I say when it's not added, only like one part of it has been added. There's still the Christmas raid and also the Christmas gifts. So maybe if you're watching the video late, it's already added to the game. But let's go ahead and break down the patch notes here. So the first post over here, it says Navy X Flame. Tomorrow, Christmas. Christmas raid and three gifts like last year available to obtain then that's what I was saying they have not added it to the game yet basically if you guys are trying to do like the Christmas raid I guess it might be in world one world two probably world two I'm guessing if you guys want to try to get gifts and stuff maybe it is world one you know help out the newer players of the game yeah they're gonna add it probably tomorrow or if you're guys you guys are like watching the video that would be today and then the three gifts like last year there's like Christmas present one, two, and three. For this year, I'm guessing it's like this black one here, and then the blue one, and then there's a green one. Right now, currently, the only way you can obtain them, I think, is through the gift shop, I think. Or maybe there's just different kinds of gifts in the game. I'm not exactly sure. That's like the first post. You guys let me know in the comments if you know exactly how the Christmas event works. Fruit Jaeger, second post over here, he says, All-Star Hero Crossover plus step up banner and secret mega content update so these right here the second post this will come before christmas so you're probably like whoa what was the update all they did was just change the map yes you're right and then they added these three gifts I don't know if those three gifts are separate, once again, from the gifts that Navy X Flame is talking about. But after that, if you scroll down, there is a new code in the game as well. Big winter update soon. And that's what I said. They haven't exactly added the Christmas update to the game yet. It's just kind of like a precursor, like an introduction. But yeah, let's go redeem the code. Let's see what it gives. Big winter update soon. And we got 91 Stardust and 91 Gems. 91 Stardust is a lot, but 91 Gems is kind of, I don't know. But uh, you make sure you guys redeem that code. It is big winter update soon. Let's keep going through here. It says winter start. So I guess this is like winter update part one. We have a restore system. So if you guys ever lost your units, type slash E restore to get your tower pass units back. And you can do it once every few hours. I already typed it in the game. I didn't get anything back. So I guess I didn't lose anything. And it says there also some units, mostly battle pass units, no longer give exp i'm not sure if anybody was feeding their units for exp but there you guys go and it says if you bought battle pass tiers and you didn't get it now rejoin twice there's also christmas infinite maps we can definitely check that out for this video star pass has been extended and then fruit jaeger also added christmas gifts so if i scroll back up tomorrow christmas right in three gifts like last year obtainable so i'm guessing there's six gifts in total so right now you guys can see in the gift shop here you can only buy these gifts Gifts, according to Navy X Flame and Fruit Jaeger. These ones you can only buy and you can buy it for yourself I think and you can also give it to other players. I guess technically if you had like a noob to pro account and you were like high enough level you could spend your 100,000 gems gifting guys like I don't know a thousand blue gifts and then all your like gold coins and then all your stardust from leveling up and then you'd be able to pull some of these rare units but we're not going to talk about that yet. 
we're gonna keep going through this list it says here if you guys buy gifts you can only use it to gift other people you can't open the ones that you buy okay i see you can only open gifts that are given to you you can open them on christmas there's a level requirement to buy gifts so like i said at the beginning of the video basically this is like part one early update of the christmas update in all-star tower defense all they added was a christmas lobby all they added was these three gifts so far apparently the gifts like present one present two present three you can get them today slash tomorrow when fruity updates again and then he will also add the christmas raid in a future update which should be tomorrow unless it gets delayed but they also added christmas infinite mode maps as of right now there are no new units that you guys can currently obtain now these ones right here i guess we could try to break it down 0 0.0 i guess it's 0.1 percent the auburn gift and this is you purchase with like coins and stuff so if you guys buy this dang we got the auburn gift we're popping off and then that's a 0.1 percent if you guys could say pity to get the monaco gift it would probably take what is that like 10 presents one percent it would take a thousand presents thousand presents for auburn gift kiguri 1.5 percent i'm not sure how good kiguri or monaco is i guess i could check the discord server okay taking a look at it monaco um maybe you guys know who that unit is but it doesn't show up in the discord kiguri um also does not show up in the discord so these are like brand new units i'm guessing maybe maybe not snowman 5 we already know that unit it was in the last christmas update and the other snowman units also in the last christmas update but that is the auburn gift now we have the snow gift you guys see that right there blue gem 0.01 percent 5,000 remaining if you guys have played all-star tower defense when aqua came out i don't have aqua with me with me but i gave her away basically aqua is a limited unit with like 5,000. but then fruit jaeger and madao added like another thousand there's actually like 6,000 or 7,000 aquas in the game but there you guys can see blue gem 0.01 percent kind of like aqua i'm not sure who that unit is there's also eas dragon gachio and then a random Christmas skin at 91%. I'll purchase the snow gift so you guys can take a look at it. Dang, mega rare snow gift. That's kind of cool. And then there's the exotic gift. 0.01%. And there's 500 remaining. So if there's an exotic, like if there's a black gift you guys want to get, this one right here, or if there's a gift you want to get, it's the black one right here. The exotic coin, 0.01%. 500 remaining. What does that mean? It means whoever opens up the first 500, it's theirs to take. So if you had one lucky player, right, and he kept opening the exotic gift, 0.01%, and he opened it 500 times, he would get, I guess, he would run out the stock, and nobody else would be able to get it. That's what 500 remaining is. Spirit Genie, 1.5%, Black Sun, 7%. Christmas skin 91% so out of all of these I would say yeah the rarest is probably the black gift because it's the most expensive 10 stardust is it pay to win no because the way I see it is if you guys make a noob to pro account maybe you can get to level 100 right now before the event even starts which is possible because of 2x speed 3x speed and double exp and stuff and also boost in the game you could get like I don't know a couple thousand stardust get an alternate account and then just like gift this to your main that's probably like the best way you guys want to get these gifts at least these three gifts i don't know if present one two or three are making an appearance but there it is omega rare black gift that's pretty op we can actually search it up in our inventory here it says black gift snow gift and auburn gift i said it earlier once again that um you can only open up gifts that are gifted to you if you buy it from the shop here then you cannot open it on christmas day that's what navy flame or fruit jaeger said so we have black gift here i guess we can gift it to a lucky player here i think i'm gonna give it to this penguin here because he gave me some gifts earlier bark quay yo okay barbecue guy i sent it to you my bad if i misspell your name the snow gift as well i'm gonna gift it to i guess a pigeon he looks like a pigeon that's kind of cool and then this last gift it's the auburn gift i will gift it to this guy named venom so there it is we gifted all those gifts to people there might be some tasks like last year where if you have to gift a certain amount of gifts to other people other players they'll be able to open up units that's if you guys open it up through here that's basically what this entire system is that's why i said make a noob to pro account get about i don't know ten thousand not ten thousand stardust but like two three four thousand stardust and then gift it to your main that's what i would say the best method is 
for the paid gifts. These ones right here you have to buy. And then Navy Flames said earlier that the other gifts present 1, 2, 3 might be returning to the game. We'll also be checking out Infinite Mode, the Christmas maps. But before we do that, I guess we could talk about our code unit. So I don't, I haven't like released the video yet, but I did meet up with Fruit Jaeger. F- is uh, starting to help Fruit Jaeger develop All Star Tower Defense once again. So if you guys have suggestions on the game, make sure you guys let me know in the comments right now. And then I'll send them to Fruit Jaeger. He always, almost 99% of the time, adds them to the game. Leader skill, added it to the game. Uh, let's go see what else we added to the game. I guess a larger damage task, um, claim all button and stuff. It's basically like ease of life things that were added to the game. We're gonna go to the Christmas Infinite Mode map. I wanna see if it changed or anything like that. But like I said, we can get the code unit out to you guys if this video hits a thousand likes. If it doesn't hit a thousand likes, I'm just not gonna bother. And then I'll probably try to milk it out like how I do with anime fighters. All right, we have arrived in the, whoa, that looks kind of cool. The Christmas map for the regular infinite mode map it doesn't look like the pathway changed it's just a visual effect so it's not gonna really help you guys get a higher wave but this looks kind of cool not gonna lie to you guys let's go ahead and do extreme mode so if you guys don't know once again if you haven't played the christmas event last year and if navy flame decides to uh like stick true to his word i guess and then he said he was gonna add Christmas present one, two, three to the game. How do you guys get those gifts is basically killing enemies. Sometimes enemies might spawn in with Christmas gifts on their back. That's if they add the presents back to the game. Navy, Navy said that they would uh, later today or tomorrow. And then if you guys kill that enemy, you guys will get the gift that's on their back. That's how you get Christmas gift one, two, and three. You guys can also, I think, at least Christmas gift one, sorry. And then Christmas gift two or like present one, present two, present three. One of them you get in the banner and then I guess Christmas gift too. I forgot how you get the other ones, but you go into infinite mode. Some of them will have the, like the present on their back and then that's how you kill them. And now that I remember guys, one of the presents, you have to complete the tasks in the game. That's how you get it. The other present, you kill enemies around the map. They have a present on their back. And then the other present, you get it in the banner. So those are how you get the, the, like, the three Christmas gifts. Navy Flame might be adding back to the game. Maybe they're adding it. Maybe they're not. That's why I'm saying maybe. Because they might do a switcheroni. They do that every single update. But yeah, this infinite map looks cool. Uh, for our code unit, you guys already know it's Gargura. If you don't know who Gargura is, I can put it on the screen right now. There's the Gargura code unit like kind of like how it looks um she actually has her updated outfit though like the newer one and she also has her trident um but yeah that's how gargara is if you don't know who the vtuber is that's our 100k code units so make sure you guys like the video right now comment down below and you might be like def mine is are you really are you really getting a code unit and then it's like all right i guess i gotta play the video for you guys right now for about 10 seconds so if you're still watching the video at this point congratulations you're about to get a little sneak peek but yeah like i was saying earlier guys f minus did help uh fruit jaeger develop all star tower defense at least up until earlier this year a lot of your guys' inputs, we just gave it to Fruit Jaeger. We helped improve the game. All Star literally had like, what, a consistent 60, 70, 80,000 players. But then F minus left to go to anime fighters because it was just more lucrative. And I told you guys before, they were more high value. But here is like a sneak peek of the video. Basically, you guys can see right there that uh, F minus is in the game with Fruity Sama. And this was actually probably only a couple of days ago. So I'm just letting you guys know, I'm not capping when I say I'm getting a code unit and Fruit Jaeger actually did give me a little something something in this game so that's all I have to say so I do appreciate it Mr. Fruity Sama right there yeah y'all see that right there he said okay and then he said you have oh he about to give me something <laughs> he about to give me something so 1000 likes on the video F- minus will release that to you guys but for this I mean this is the Christmas update make sure you guys like prepare for the update you guys can farm exp in extreme mode that's what i'm currently doing that way you can level up those rare units at the end of the event and then besides that i would say the only other way you guys could help prepare yourself for this part two christmas update and there's also part three the mega one but that's right before Christmas. All you really need to do is just make a noob to pro account and level it up as much as possible. Try to get it to level 100, maybe 150, 200 or something like that. The higher the level you get, the more stardust you get. The more stardust you get, the more you can gift it to your main account. Because that's the method I would use if I was trying to farm stardust in the game. Because right now, I have like, what, 700 stardust, but I can't really farm it. Because the only way you could do it is like time chamber and then maybe doing story mode. But we already completed all of that. So 
So that's what I'm going to end up doing. Probably playing on F-2. Maybe make a couple of videos on that. But we're being chilling right now. Let me know what you guys think so far of this update. I can run through the patch notes one final time. Just to see if there's anything new. But I've already checked, guys. The entire Discord server and stuff. Here's the patch notes. We can make it a little bit bigger. Navy X Flame once again said the Christmas raid is going to be tomorrow. And then the three gifts like last year. Like present one, present two, present three. Or Christmas gift one, two, and three. They're going to be available to obtain. And if it's the same way. One is in the banner. One is through the tasks. And one of them is going to be by killing enemies. And if you scroll down. All Star Heroes. Crossover and Step Up Banner. Secret Mega Content Update. That comes before Christmas. This is technically going to be part three. Navy Flame right here. Christmas Raid. That is part two of the uh, Christmas Update. Make sure you guys redeem the code there. Big Winter Update soon. Winter Start. There's a Restore System. Battle Pass. They no longer give EXP. Christmas Infinite Maps. We're currently in a game of christmas infinite mode looks kind of cool and then we also have the star pass which has been extended make sure you guys try to get that naruto and sasuke 7 star especially if you guys are brand new or returning to the game you already know f is going to try his best to get it and then added christmas gifts the ones you buy in the shop you can only gift it to other people you cannot open the ones that you buy which is why i said if you have a noob to pro account just gift it to your main you can open them only on Christmas. Well, unfortunately, it's still like, what, December 5th, De December 6th? So we have to wait like three weeks to open them. And then it says there's a level requirement to buy gifts. Like I said before, noob to pro, you get it to level 100 or something, you'll be straight. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Make sure you guys uh, like the video, comment down below. And if you did, thank you guys so, so much. Really do appreciate your guys' support. And until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next video.